Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Legends of Arceus. Pokemon. <laughs> Hi, how's everyone doing? So, <clears throat> as I have said before, I, off camera, I was going to grind a little, and I found a lot of crap. <laughs> I found a lot of stuff. Kind of stuff that I want to see, want you guys to see. But in the meantime, I evolved the Kulava, Luxio, and Starvia. I ran into a Weasel. I'm going to put this guy away. Dust Ox. I don't need Dust Ox. I'm keeping that Eevee, though. I found an Eevee and a Pichu. I'm keeping Eevee because I love Eevee. You guys know I'm an Eevee trainer. Come on. It's not that hard. It's not that hard to know. Also, I know I said I wasn't going to do any story part, which I didn't. But I did talk to Professor Lavinson. And he gives you money. He's basically like a grandpa. Anyway. <laughs> uh, but when you talk to him, he says that you've done enough research to go back to town. And that's what we're doing. That's how we're going to continue. Oh my god, my phone's not on fucking vibrate. When's, why, what? When have I done that? That's my bad. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, why am I... Hello? Why am I lagging so much? That's weird. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everyone's ears I just clipped off. Forgive me. Didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I hope your ears are still fine and they're not bleeding. Alright. Back to your life. Dodge. Dip. Dodge. Duck. <laughs> Dive. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look. I gave him a worm pull. Uh, I probably should have done that on camera. It was actually kind of cute. There's a, like a little, there's also like another thing. There was a woman here and she's asking for like a Starly. So you show her a Starly and she's like, oh my God, it's cute. And then I'm like, would you like to pet him? And she's like, oh my God, no, what if he kills me? What the fuck? And I'm just like, Jesus, how afraid of Pokemon are people? All right. But that's what happened. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to the, the captain lady, lady captain. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Uh, okay. Open. There's a Cyndaquil. There's a Bidoof. There's a Starly. There's a Shinx. A Luxio. A Wurmple. A Silcoon. A Drifloon. A Weasel. Yes! Fish, I got it. Please get it. I want to play with you so bad. Ugh. But look at it. Look, they're so. It's actually such a good game so far. I know I've only been playing for like just the intro. I've only been doing the intro, but oh, oh, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> it's so good. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Yay! It's like a teacher, but less hot. <laughs> Sorry. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Ooh, una estrella. Gracias, mi amor. No, disculpe. No quería decir mi amor. Quería ser chuca chila. No, wait. Chula chica. Chica chula. Sorry, it's been a while since I spoke Spanish. <laughs> chica chula. Gracias por la estrella. Te amo mucho. Ah, disculpe. Dije, dije, amo otra vez. Is it weird when I talk Spanish? I'm sorry. Is it because, like, I'm more sexy? What's it called? It's, um... Mucho gusto. Como estas? I don't know. I always have an accent when I talk Spanish, and I hate it. You can now use heavy balls. <laughs> My balls are already heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. Hmm. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Oh. Does that mean we get some smoochy mooch? Smoochy smooch. Mm. <laughs> have these as well. They have further recipes you'll need for crafting. Oh, I had to get... You obtained a recipe for crafting. Heavy balls. I'm telling you, I don't need help getting heavier balls. <laughs> a recipe for crafting heavy balls from scratch. Requires materials, one after corner, one, after, one black tumble stone. <laughs> uh, thank you for the clip. You obtained a recipe for crafting, right? Revives. Oh, thank you. I needed one of those. One vivid choke and two medicinal leaks. I have those. I could probably make, I'm making a lot of revives. 
Rarage, rarage, rarage. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament. All right, I'm going to say a spoiler alert real quick. Uh, I fell from the sky. A god kidnapped me. He gave me a phone and he dropped me on the planet. That's the gist of the story so far. I got kidnapped by God, sent back in time, and he threw me on the ground. And now I'm catching Pokemon. So yay! <laughs> that a stranger like you should fall from the sky, and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple, enough to be judged on face value alone. Improving your worth by moving up through all ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Yeah, sure, just can I leave? Hello? I just want to go out and throw Pokeballs at stuff. Oh, for today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Oh, sweet! Food! That's the whole point of this. I get to eat. <laughs> so I'll go stream, my boy. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, I'll be very busy from now on between our survey corps duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on their request from Beauregard? Yes. The people of Jewel Life aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problems arise, the Survey Corps gets called to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask you to help when you talked with them. While well, those requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard, keep in my lab. Speaking of which, what did you approach with the request recently, Akari? What's it all about? About that, I was thinking maybe Augustry could handle it for me. I was told they require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Ah, yes. That request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui. Hisui? Huswa? I forgot how I said that the first time. Hisui. Since before the Galaxy team arrived. If we establish a good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them. There is much we might learn from... Oh, wait. Including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. There's a lot of cutscenes, which I'm not complaining too much about, you know? It's good. <laughs> the next day. I don't know. I guess it builds the world a little. Which is something... I don't know. It's good. I can't really complain about it. I really love the game so far. Okay, the mechanics are really good. There's some things that can be worked on a little, but honestly, I can't complain. It's a Pokemon game. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. No. <laughs> Ooh, game here will be Friday. Nice. I get paid that day. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. Wait, one whole week? Just go to freaking Walmart. <laughs> You've got a lot of Pokemon. You may want to visit the pastures. Change up your team. I'll be done by the game. Well, no. I'm trying to do the story on camera as much as I can. So I probably will be halfway through the story <laughs> and grinding a fuck done. Meet Akari at the training grounds. Okay. But I got a craft stuff. I got a craft. Ooh, $20 discount from Amazon. Do you got more stuff for me? No, you got crafting materials, though. Oh, you got that thing I need. What about crafting recipes? Any new ones? No, there's no new ones. It's $90 Canadian, usually. Oh, my God. It sounds like a, a type of field provision that enhances the flavor of other foods it is mixed with. Enlarged and well-ripened mushrooms that are beloved by the most monstrous Pokemons as well as dragon Pokemons. So they would kind of... Ooh. Give me all of them. No, <laughs> I'll take 11 of these. 11 of these. I need this for the cake one. Is that just basically rice? 
It looks like rice. It's rice. <laughs> All right. And can I craft one now? <gasps> I could craft one right now. Give them to me. I'm going to craft all of them. I'm going to craft 19. What are these for? A ball that is too heavy to fly, high or far. Well, it's highly effective if you've managed to hit an unsuspecting Pokemon. So I'm just throwing a giant rock at something at a Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> I got him. I think he's dead, Jim. I got him. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. Oh. <laughs> Just fucking smack him. Like, don't get me wrong. I've been throwing Pokeballs at them, right? But like, this looks like it's a rock. <laughs> It'll be here someday. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Is it creepy when I go to that, that like, high-pitched of a voice all of a sudden? When I talk like this. And then I talk like this! Like a crazy person! <laughs> and I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, I've had an epiphany. <laughs> and that is... You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. Yes. Here, this is my partner, Pikachu. You have a Pikachu? I'm so fucking jealous. <sighs> anyway. Pika! Oh my god, that's my best Pikachu voice I've done in a while. We were attacked by those Shinx. I got too scared of Think Treat, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partners refused to listen to anything I tell him. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. Pika! But when I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we need to do more too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. I'm going to kick your ass. I mean, sure. <laughs> <laughs> the Survey Corp Sakari challenged you to a battle. Do you accept? No choice. It's part of the story. Akari sent out Pikachu. Go, Kulava! Oh, yeah. Do 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 <laughs> Sorry. Am I too like hyped up on energy right now? I have a soda. I don't usually drink soda. Mostly because it fucks with my throat. You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. Did I just one shot kill? I'm sorry. That's very anticlimactic, isn't it? <laughs> I guess I've been grinding for too long. <laughs> Off camera. <laughs> Oh, sweet, level up. <laughs> Phew, thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment, I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. <laughs> During what <one> moment? <laughs> I'm sorry, Pikachu. I'm sorry. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Pika! <laughs> Guess I was wrong then. I'll start to work more as a team with my partner the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said... Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. Stop! Oh, wow, I haven't seen this in a while. <laughs> Ooh, ah, both Pokemon and moves have types. The type matchup between a move and its target Pokemon determine how much damage is taken. Moves can be super effective, effective, not very effective, or completely ineffective. Here are some examples of, okay, I already know this. Does you guys really need me to read, read, read this out? <laughs> You're all Pokemon fans, we all know you love it. So you're the one, the new recruit everyone's talking about. Oh, I gave... The name's Zizu. Captain of the security corps. <laughs> oh, you're a lady. I used the wrong voice. Oh well, I'm sticking with it. I see you've got some fight in you. To figure I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Cecil is a master of ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its move, we can actually use them in different styles. Ooh. On the one hand, you could choose to... Oh, that's what they were talking about. Damn it, I evolved my Kulava too early. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you can deliver a move in the strong style. 
The move will deal more damage, but afterwards it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you could choose to unleash a move in the Agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterward. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Just strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is the right for a given situation, and you direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. I need a fighting Pokemon. Which Pokemon has mastered a move? You can have it use the move in either... Oh! Oh! That's what that means! I have some moves that are mastered, actually. Shit. <laughs> Sometimes your Pokemon will naturally master a move and unlock these extra styles simply by leveling up. Agile style reduces the power of the move, raises the user's action speed, uses more PP than usual. PP. Stone style boosts the power of the move, lowers the user's action speed, uses more PP than usual. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Yes, woman with a manly voice. Jesus' teachings could serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. And I suppose it's time to meet my... Remember I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request? And to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well. Once you've your Pokemon team, perhaps have them learn some new moves from Sisu if you like. Ooh, request from Mai. I'm actually very curious about this. Here at the training grounds, your Pokemon can master the moves or learn new moves. Uh, I want new moves. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to burp. Yeah, see? I have three of them already run. <gasps> oh. Oh, my God. Rest? There's a rest? <gasps> it's expensive. Oh, that's awesome. What happens if I master moves? I can't help your Pokemon master if you don't have a seed of mastery. What? Hmm? Uh, what about Kalaba? Ooh, Rock Smash. Oh, I needed a fighting move. Aerial Ace? What? And rest again. I do need a fighting move. Uh, I can wait. Speaking of which, since I have some viewers that are viewing me for their viewing entertainment, I'm gonna swap out dust stocks for something. I haven't really caught that many Pokemon though. I have a Pichu, a Ponyta. Is that all I got? I think that's all I got right now. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. You know what? I could probably switch it out for a Drifloom. Move, no, please. Oh, Mime Jr. Oh, I forgot I had a Mime Jr. Ooh, that's difficult. Should I get a Mime Jr.? Oh, yeah, it's a lot of But I have a Beezle already. I don't want to go with the Drifloon, to be honest. I really want to know what the effort points are for. Uh, I'm going to go... Okay, so I need one with special attack. Special attack. That one has special attack on one. That one has special attack on three. Ooh. That one does not. Okay, I'm going to go with that one. Give me the chocolate. Give me the chocolate. Evie. So cute. Okay. Let's go. Do, do, do. Dive, dip, dodge, dive, dip. <laughs> yes, please. <clears throat> oh my god, I see you running on. Dance with me, dance with me, dance with me. Oh. Gotta catch them all. Boo. Yeah, he's, did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to anyway. There's a secret technique to catch a Pokemon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. 
Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. Hit a wild Pokemon from behind for a higher chance of a successful catch or to gain an advantage. I've already figured that out. <laughs> if you pull the Survey Corps now, I could create that Pokedex as they all, all you might. End up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. Hisui. Should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. How do you know I will? Are you a stalker? Where'd he go? What? Did he just... Alright. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm just gonna creep up to... Morel. Oh boy. You're the boy from the Civic Corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? Yes. No one believes me that a god kidnapped me from my world and threw me onto the planet. But yes. Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cakeler recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I've worked 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe. And I just know it's a winner. Problem is, the folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the village. The talk of the town. We're gonna be famous, you see. Ya cha cha cha. <laughs> if people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go, too. I'll teach you the recipe, kid. All you have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. From the sea to shining sea, from the... From the mountains of Heastwear to the lakes of... Alright, alright, I lost them. <laughs> I lost myself in the translation. <laughs> and you'll need to get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself, kid. Scounge now from the forge of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. Once springy mushrooms all you need, I'll be waiting for you. Alright, cool. Now what? <laughs> oh, now that's a nice springy mushroom I've ever did see one, kid. We're gonna be great. We're gonna be great partners. I'm glad I chose you for my request. You've got what it takes to be a fine mushroom forger. By the by, did you know that springy mushrooms like this one multiply in no time? That's why you'll find them all over the obsidian field lands. And they're versatile to fry them, stew them, boil them, stick them in a stew. They'll taste great either way. <laughs> I'm Samwise freaking Gamgee, but I digress. Let's get to the teaching you my recipe. Hunters use that handy dandy bench workbench over there. And voila, mushroom cakes for all. And here you have it, the delectable mushroom cake beloved by Pokemon far and wide. Just throw one at the wild Pokemon and if it's partial to a nice mushroom snack, you can bet. Oh, I dropped my controller. <laughs> You can bet your bottom toadstool it'll go after the cake lore. You can use the opening to make your getaway, or of course, try to catch the Pokemon, sir. You're gonna be great at this. Here, I'll give you some of my own cake lore bases so you can get crafting right away. You obtained five balls of a cake lore base. Thanks. Ya cha cha cha! Now get out there and throw a generous, no, gratuitous number of mushroom cakes to learn. Pokemon left, right, and center, you hear? I'm counting on you to make my recipe famous. That was a whole bit, and I, I was able to do most of it. Thank you. Alright. Wee! Alright. Time to do my favorite thing in this game throw random Pokeballs at things. <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I love that so much. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> I don't know why I love doing that so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That was just so fun to do. <laughs> Can I get through, please? <laughs> there are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of the bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're first. Oh, that's your rank. You should be fine. Go on, then. Don't let you go down now. Reprieve so safety if you find yourself in trouble. Kind of want Really? That's all I had to do? I have been... Stuck on this side forever. Damn it. Ooh, a bunch of likes. It doesn't mean I could catch a bunch of likes. Over here. 
Oh, that's my wife. <laughs> my sexy. My my new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to help. Oh my god! Oh, she even has that beauty mark. That is actually kind of cute. I'm one of the wardens of the Dunn Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my wife again. That's good to hear. <laughs> a security corpse of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. My battle, he battles at my side by choice, without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch him then. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, oh, we're doing a battle? We're battling? We're gonna be awesome? Quick, dodge! Oh, I can't dodge in this? I've never actually tried dodging. <laughs> Alright, it's a normal. So I'm just gonna roll out! Oh. Whoa. Uh, that did a lot of damage. Strong style. Wow, that did no damage. Oh. And I'm dead. No. Don't die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I <laughs> need a potion. <laughs> potion, please. Here you go. Drink up my hearty yo ho. Ah! Okay. Fight! I was gonna use Flame Nice. You defeated Munch Lax. I forget, does Drifloom evolve from happiness? There's a, I remember there was like a specific way to evolve him. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. I won't fall much, Lux. Oh, he's all sad. I'll take care of the Pokemon in the battle for us. Ooh, thank you. I'll let you have these. You may make all kind of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. What'd you give me? Ooh, five of jokes. Those are for revives. And your Pokemon fall well together. You practically acted as one with them. I right, like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories to, to our children. I think you're indeed the correct one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha. Oh. That's difficult. Who's Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights? There's a large face and fellow like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? To Deer Track Heights. <clears> to <throat> my phone. The arc phone is beeping. That thing you have, it's showing you where you gotta go, isn't it? My mind, there's some curious sort of map. This, is that one of those galaxy team adventures I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Dark Heights up ahead. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there, I know it. Sure! Seems you're quite the asset to the Savvy Corpse new one. Alright, well, let's figure this out. No. Before we continue, I must ask, do you really already know about Almighty Sinner? Really? My, my, how about that? Though I'm not certain you've been told the true story. The true story is this. Almighty Sinner steals all time, and is said to have created the very universe using power over the time's flow. And this land of Hiswe was born in the process. It's by the grace of the almighty Sinnoh that a Pokemon can live and thrive here. Aw, oh, thank you for the host, Fish. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate almighty old Sinnoh. However, it's still away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any humans. If the old tales are to be trusted, but there are still Pokemon here today in Heatsway with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. 
and has the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces the attract heights is one of those honored few. It is directly. Does that mean Arceus is named after the Sinnoh region? So the Sinnoh region is named after Arceus then. That's crazy. So Arceus' real name is Sinnoh. Unless I'm going, unless that's like incorrect, but that's like, that's some nice like story building right there. That, that connects like so well. I love that. That's so good. The Pokemon that graces the attack heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. I think that's what they're getting at. I think that's what they're getting at. They're getting at the fact that, that the Sinnoh region is named after Arceus. That's crazy. Follow me and you may understand. Like, I never considered that. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to throw Pokeballs at everything again. <laughs> 